Hi, it's Corrine for Cut at Home, and I apologize about my voice. I'm a little bit under the weather. Today, I'm using an adorable stamp set from Sizzix called Cupcake Greetings, and I'm going to adhere my stamp onto my Fiskars stamp press. And using some Ranger watercolor paper, I've traced out a shape of a tag, and I'm cutting that out to about five and one eighth by four, and just erasing my pencil lines. And now I'm going to use an anti-static clean bag because I plan on embossing this. I'm using some VersaFine Black Onyx ink and I'm masking off that little banner at the top which some, with some scotch tape while I'm inking it. And then I'll remove that tape and then press that down. I'm just, I'm just making sure to press firmly. And now I'm adding some clear embossing powder to the entire image and going to heat set that with my heat gun. I added my Ranger mat underneath just so it doesn't warp my cutting mat underneath. So once that's all heated up and shiny, I can go ahead and color it in. I'm going to use some distress markers from Tim Holtz and I'll have the colors listed on the Cut at Home blog. So I will quickly color that in and I'll be right back. Now I'm using some DCWV Glitzy Glitter cardstock. I'm using the 6x6 and pulling out a little bit of that, or pulling out some of that pink glitter paper. I'm going to use my existing tag and just trace on the back of that and cut it out with my Fiskars paper trimmer. It's approximately 4 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. And again, I'm just trimming it to try and match that up as best that I can. For my card base, I'm using some smooth white cardstock and cutting it to an A2 size card. So I'm cutting it at eight and a half by five and a half and scoring it at four and a quarter. I'm just going to give that a good crease with my bone folder. I'm going to adhere down my tag and I'm using some angel craft tape. I wanted to use some strong adhesive tape since it is being glued to that glitter paper. For a mat for the front of my card, I'm using a scratch piece of paper, cutting it to five and one eighth by four. And I cut it originally a little bit larger than that, but in the end it ends up being five and an eighth by four. So I'm using a textured impressions by Sizzix. It's called Lovely Lace, and this is really pretty. And I use that little sandwich book that I got from Cut at Home. It gives you the recipe for any of the sandwiches you need to use in your Sizzix Big Shot. It's really handy to have. So after I ran that through, I decided I wanted to cut out some lightweight chipboard, add that behind my embossed piece, just so it stands up slightly and gives it a little bit of dimension. So I'm adhering two of them together and placing them behind my mat. And here's where you see I had cut off just a little amount because I decided I wanted 
another mat of that pink glitter paper to go on the front of my card. So I'm going to pull out another piece of that and again cut that down. I'm cutting this piece to 5 and 3 eighths by 4 and 1 eighth and that'll give me a small white border on my card which will then tie into my tag. So I was happy with that and now I decided that since you're not going to see most of this middle piece since I'll have another mat on it, I'm going to cut that middle piece out so I can save that for more projects. I love that glitter paper. So I'm just adhering that down again leaving myself a, a tiny white mat and now adhering down my embossed piece to the middle of that. And again, using Angel Craft Tape, I'm going to adhere down my tag. On the stamp image, there are little white dots, or excuse me, I guess they're black dots on the cake stand. So I'm going to add some pearls on top of those using some glossy accents. I also cut out a tiny bow from my Cameo from the same DCWV paper but in silver. So I added that to the bottom of my cake stand and now I'm going to add a pink pearl to the center of that. And then to give my cupcakes a little bit of shimmer I'm adding some Wink of Stella clear glitter brush. And it does pick up a little bit of those watercolor markers so I just scratched it or rubbed it off on a piece of scratch paper. This is a Sizzix stamp and die set called Banners, and I'm stamping the happy birthday from it. I've never stamped it before, so I want to go ahead and stamp it off a few times just to make sure I get a good image. So this last one I stamp here I'm really happy with, so I will cut that out, add my inner die cut to that, run it through my Sizzix Big Shot and cut that out. I am heat setting it quickly just so I don't accidentally smear it as I'm working with it. And I'm using a little bit of scotch tape to keep that in place while I run it through there. And now using the larger banner to that, the mat for that, I'm cutting out some more of that pink glitter paper and I will mat those together and add them to the inside of my card to finish it off. I hope you stop by Cut at Home's blog. You'll find a list of all the products used and a recap of all the measurements. Thanks so much for watching.